Hey, it's Ella Wood. And this is Contrivance. And here we're going to talk about the army builder that we've been showing off screenshots, but now we actually have it in game. So, for demonstration purposes, we're just going to go through the Germans. Uh, they were a good test case. If anyone's looked at the German language, you'll quickly realize that they often have very large compound words. So, we can fit a full German unit name into our text boxes. That's good. And if you've done any history checking on Germans, they've got tons of different units. So if we can cram all of them into our UI, then we have plenty of space for everyone else. So to start with, when you choose any particular nation and you've loaded up the game and you decide you're going to create a brand new battle group, you're not going to choose one of the ones you've already created before and saved. We skipped over that step for this video because it's not quite ready yet. You'll be presented with this. We broke it down into the different branches. If we have ground forces for it, then we have a branch for it. So for the Germans, they actually had all four branches available as ground forces. Got your army, the air, Kriegsmarine, the navy, Luftwaffe, the air force, and the Waffen SS. So purposes, we're going to go into the army. So within the army, you have numerous different divisions as well as subunits of battalion strength. So here's another layer of, of distinction. So in our case, we're going to choose Panzer Division. So within the Panzer Division, here's the different companies that you'll be able to choose as the basis of your battle group. We have an armored reconnaissance company, armored infantry, armored engineers, uh, the armored reconnaissance company for armored cars specifically, and a medium tank company. So these, this would be the core of your battle group. It's not like you would play entirely with medium tanks or entirely with infantry. It's just this is the starting point for your battle group and then you would choose support units to accompany them to battle. Because while it may sound really good to have nothing but tanks, uh, trust me you'll want infantry, you'll want specialist troops like engineers, you'll want scouts, you'll want some form of artillery support. A good combined arms approach will give you the flexibility to tackle any problem. Uh, just throwing tanks at the problem will just result in lots of burning wrecks on the battlefield if your opponent has exactly what they need to stop your tank forces. Uh, so for demonstration purposes, we'll choose Armor Constance Company. So lots of different variants. For the Germans, they fielded lots of different types of armored cars and armored light tanks used for reconnaissance. The standard throughout most of the war was this default variation, which uses the SDKFZ 222 and 223 as the main armored car, which, will, which is currently in Company Heroes 2 for the East uh, Front Germans, the two scout car variants as well as the 231 and 232 as, as support. Uh, we don't have that yet. The Type A, which uses the Puma, as everyone loves. The Type B, which uses the Panzer II looks. And then these variations, which we don't have models for. Another Type B that uses the Aufklärungspanzer 38. A Type C, which uses the half-track 250 that's mounting a two centimeter cannon on it. A Type D, which has the 230 for one with the two, again, the two centimeter cannon, and the Type E, which uses the 251-20, along with, I believe, 250s as support as well. And we don't have the models for these, so they're grayed out. So you would pick one, and then you'd be brought to another screen where you get to choose the support, you get to actually flesh out what's in your battle group. For now, we don't have that one step yet, so I'm just gonna go ahead just to show off our deployment. Yeah, basically we just skip that last step there and go straight to deployment for testing purposes so we can just jump in and start playing with these companies and try them out. Yeah, because otherwise we'd be <laughs> kind of stuck for a bit. But yeah, uh, Elowitz's deployment system is in. For example, I can choose any of these particular... They're all the same right now, but right now the a full-strength uh, 
Panzer Spade Company has four of these platoons, each one having two sections with three Pumas each. So I'll go ahead and bring one in. And on the other side here, I'm actually playing with the British and I have uh, spawned a rifle section. Let's actually go pay a little bit of visit. Uh, which of the victory points did you go to? Uh, how about the very middle bridge of the three? Alright, one of my Pumas is coming across. Oh, you don't oh, have shit. the weapon reset up for it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there we go. Fired off a machine gun burst. Well, we still have a fair bit to do uh, for uh, this setup. But you can already see we've got a uh, brand new UI that Relic delivered. We've been putting it to good use in creating our own gameplay. And we look forward to finishing this off and showing you what we have in store. Absolutely.